up, boys and girls? Welcome back to another amazing video. Yes, we're checking out Folker Pisper. Yes, we're checking out Dark Humor. Yes, we're diving into some very deep discussion. So if that interests you, smash that like button, hit that subscribe button. The title of the video we're going to be reacting to today is German Satire Folker Pispers about double standards in the international law and democracy with English subtitles. Uh, we got into him a lot in the last month, and then I slowed down and I wound up diving into other people and then went back to doing music reactions. You guys don't seem to like music reactions at all. I was very indifferent about it. I'm like, eh, cool, whatever. But we're here. So like the video, comment down below, subscribe to the channel. We are chasing 500,000 subscribers. And if you guys like more of this, we will do more of this. Um, also, I will start bringing people on here to check these videos out with me. If you guys would like to do that, um, I think it'll give a nice little perspective because now we can have an active discussion and also translate the video and get into some really deep topics. All right, let's not waste any time. Let's go low skis. In these times, learn we very much about democracy in general. Nehmen Sie mal den arabischen Frühling zum Beispiel. Da waren ja erst alle ganz begeistert. Arabischer Frühling, schaut es euch an. Die Araber haben begriffen, Demokratie ist das Beste. Sie jagen die Diktatoren ins Meer. Herrliche Bilder. I feel like this is interesting because uh, democracy is definitely the number one form of government that America tries to push. I mean, naturally, we are a democracy, but it's interesting that we've pushed it onto the world and it's not a bad thing. I don't, I don't think democracy is bad at all. In fact, it's, it's a great thing to have the people choose their leader and whatnot. I'm not sure where he's going with this next statement, but I do remember in particular when we were heavily engaged with Iraq, very heavily engaged with Iraq. That was one of the philosophies we were trying to push onto them as well. Hey, democracy, it works. You should try it sometime instead of this uh, dictatorship thing you got going on. You know, maybe something different for a change. Makes sense to me. Als die ersten hinterher sprangen, um zu uns rüber zu schwimmen, ließ die Begeisterung schon etwas nach. Ich meine, wir Deutsche sind die Ersten, die wissen, wie schön das ist, wenn Mauern fallen. Damn, he made a Berlin joke. Aber wir haben ja auch erlebt, wer da alles über die Trümmer geklettert kommt. God damn, bro. <laughs> That's nutty. That's very nutty. Someone in the chat says, remember his Taliban story with the US pushing democracy by installing dictators? Okay, so this is also what I would like to bring up as well. Democracy obviously can be very corrupt. Where you have the people choosing the leader and stuff like that, I feel like democracy's Achilles heel, obviously, like every form of government's Achilles heel is the politicians and the people behind the machine. Democracy is a form of government where the people feel like their vote matter. Their votes have power. And if they go out and support a candidate and they wind up winning, then they believe strongly that they were behind that. The reality is the people who are in power usually get chosen by some very shady means, but it done in a way where the people are cloak and daggered, meaning like they are tricked into thinking that their votes led to the person being put in that position and not the people in power putting that person in position. There's a lot of factors that go into the choosing of a candidate in a democracy. But one of the main things in America's democracy, um, and I'm pretty sure this happens globally for the people who also have democracies as well, is money. Money, power, and all that good stuff. Then came the first free election. That was Tunisia, the first land where free gewählt could be. And to the surprise of all, the ortsansässigen Muslims have the Muslim parties. Oh, fuck. All right. So they obviously installed democracy in Tunisia. And go figure, Tunisians voted for a religious uh, leader, <laughs> which America hoped maybe uh, you choose somebody different. But no, I mean, you got to think about what the culture is, bro. <laughs> uh, it, it should not be to anybody's surprise that they would choose a religious leader. What has that with democracy to do? There stand in our Zeitung and word word is great. Are they überhaupt reif for democracy? Of course, not as much as the people in Bayern. Oh my God. The Bavarian government has been formed by one party almost all the time since World War II. Really? Is that a thing? Really? Wait, wait, so Bavaria was formed by one government or by one party? One party. I'm so stupid. The Bavarian government was formed by one party almost the entire time since World War II. Was that the CDU? CSU, CSU, CSU. That's Bayern? So the CSU is in Bayern. Oh my gosh. I did not know that. So Bayern has been established like with the, the CSU. CSU, pretty much. Like, that's how it formed in the first place. Da kommt es in Ägypten, kam es direkt zur Katastrophe. Lässt man die Ägypter frei wählen, da wählen sie einen Herrn Morsi als, als Präsidenten, einen Islamisten als Präsidenten. Crazy thing is, you got to also look at the focal point of where all these votes are going. In a democracy, let's say like, yeah, you know what? We've heard the people, they obviously want a democracy. Let's give them a democracy. Guess what happens? The politicians proceed to do their dirty work. They can tamper the votes a little bit. 
it. They can make certain people go missing. They can do a lot of things that favor one party. So it looks like a particular party was voted into power and in actuality, people chose a different candidate. But in this particular instance, I actually feel like people were so used to that form of government or those types of leaders. They legitimately chose the leaders that, you know, America sought to be maybe not so best, but not the best ch choice for those countries. I mean, if you're used to one type of leader and stuff like that, typically you're going to choose similar leaders. So even with a democracy where you would, you know, think that that would solve your issue as far as who's running over your country and stuff like that. Well, boom, not really. I mean, it will and it won't. I mean, the people get to collectively decide who the leader is. And, you know, in this case, boom, they, these guys chose, they, they chose their, their leader and it doesn't seem like too many people on the outside were happy with that. <laughs> Und dann kommt dieser Mosi an die Macht, demokratisch gewählt, macht ein paar Gesetze, die einigen Leuten nicht gefallen. Da habe ich gesagt, ja, das ist mir hier auch schon oft so gegangen. Aber sogar Leute, die den Mosi gewählt hatten, waren ganz enttäuscht über das, was der da gemacht hat. Und da habe ich gesagt, willkommen in der Demokratie. <lacht> You get to really know your people, man. You get to really know your people. Like, we all get to vote together. And they're like, mm, yeah. <laughs> But now you get to see what the people really think, you know? <laughs> Und dann stellt sich plötzlich raus, hören Sie mal, die Demokratie in Ägypten ist viel weiter entwickelt als hier. Sehen Sie, wenn Sie sich in Ägypten bei der Wahl vertan haben, da brauchen Sie keine vier Jahre warten, um den Irrtum zu korrigieren. Oh, they got a super democracy. Oh, that's what he's saying, basically. He said the Egyptians got an advanced system of democracy. If they elect the wrong person, they're not going to wait four years to get them out of office. I'm assuming they make that correction very swiftly. They put in power who they want to put in power. But let me let him finish. Da rufen Sie einfach bei der Armee an. Huh? Yo, that's foul. That's foul. That's foul. They're like, let's just eliminate our leader real quick and then do a redo. Okay? Also bitte bei den gewählten Präsidenten verhaften, so geht das hier nicht weiter. Wenn die Anhänger ein Protestcamp machen und demonstrieren, erklären sie die zu Terroristen und lassen sie die einfach mal Haufen schießen. Und dann steht in unseren Zeitungen in Ägypten, wurde die Demokratie gerettet, indem Demonstranten erschossen wurden. Bro, what? That's tough. That's not cool. What the hell? Our newspaper started writing that democracy has been saved in Egypt by clapping the demonstrators. Look. In dem Demonstranten erschossen wurden. That's tough, bro. Literally, I feel like you can have the most flawless form of government and it still wouldn't work because you always have corrupt politicians in a corrupt system, no matter what form of government it is. Dictatorship. Totalier, total, totalitarian, is it totalitarian? Total, 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 I can't even say the word. Total, 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 what's the word? The total, 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 bro, for some reason I can't say that word. Oh, totalitarian. So totalitarian societies, you know what I'm saying? Republican societies, democracies, you know what I'm saying? Fucking crazy, dog. It seems that like this article was read attentively by O. Oh. Aber als er das danach gemacht hat und die, die randalierende Demonstranten in der Ukraine zu Terroristen erklärt hat und hat abknallen lassen, da, da war es dann wieder falsch. Wow. Da muss einmal erstmal einer erklären, wo man es darf, wo nicht. Man, bro, that's why I don't get into politics, G. This is exactly why I don't get into politics, bro. This is just a the dark reality of each system. The commonality with all of the different systems, the focal point, I should say, of all the different forms of government, man, is corruption. If each form of government was able to flourish without corruption, then I feel like people would have a clear decision to make when it comes to what their preferred form of government would be. You know what I mean? But obviously, For people to choose that they got to be in one particular type of government <laughs> democracy you feel me but let's talk about democracy right because that's pretty much what he's talking about right now it doesn't work when the system corrupt you know what i'm saying so when people i i at one point right there were a lot of people who were like if you don't vote you're the, you're the problem with this country are we though like if they really wanted to shut my vote down and make it not count it's a lot easier than you would think if they wanted to put somebody in power that I did not want in power as a voter. I have no power. Now, what he says in this particular segment about, you know, the demonstrators getting clapped and then
then literally the guy in Ukraine saying like, oh, well, I read that uh, over in this area, they were clapping protesters that didn't like their uh, their president. Well, easy, easy come, easy go, as I always say. The demonstrators can come to my front door and get clapped any day of the week. So he tried it out. Well, the world was like, no, that can only happen in certain places. Democracy to a point. <laughs> Der Kohl hätte gesagt, der Mob der Straße hatte der Demokratie nichts zu sagen. Und, und was ein aufrechter Demonstrant ist und was ein Mob ist, das entscheidet nur zwar für zwei die Bildzeitung. Man muss eben die Unterschiede kennen, meine Damen und Herren. Sehen Sie, wenn die USA. Oh oh, here we go. Here we go. What you gotta say about the USA today, my guy? In Irak Plattbomben. Anschließend einmarschieren über 100.000 Menschen ermorden. Und dann sagen, ach, Entschuldigung, es gab die Atomwaffen gar nicht, wegen derer wir hier gekommen sind. Damn. Dann ist das was ganz anderes, als wenn der Putin auf der Krim ein Referendum abhalten lässt. This must have been made in like 2014 or whatever, because the Crimea thing happened right around 2014. So that makes, this makes a lot of sense. Die Menschen sich frei entscheiden können, von wem sie unterdrückt werden wollen. Dang, dang, bro. It's like, well, you could be in Crimea situation where they get to freely choose who they get depressed by. You know, you can choose to be oppressed by the person on the left or the person on the right. You know what I mean? <laughs> Crimea is like, just leave us alone, bro. Please. Is that an option too? <laughs> crazy, bro. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Das eine. Das eine ist eine eklatante Verletzung des Völkerrechts, das andere ist eine humanitäre Aktion zur Rettung des Weltfriedens. Oh my God, bro. And this is where it comes down to morals, man. One is a direct violation of the international rights and the other one, a humanitarian operation for saving the peace and the whole world. Holy schmoly, bro. <laughs> God dang, bro. God dang. I mean, obviously nobody really cares about the violation of the international right segment, so they're gonna do the humanitarian tang, 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 you think? I don't know. Man muss eben nur wissen, was was ist. Und da haben die halt noch viel zu lernen in der Welt. Der Mosi hat es wirklich übertrieben, muss man auch mal offen sein. Der Mosi, der steht jetzt vor Gericht, der ist angeklagt äh, wegen Aufruf zu Mord. Und das geht... He's not facing court and is being accused of calling for... Oh, wow. Also wirklich nicht. For Morsi. Das wird der Obama auch nie machen, sowas. Der Obama... Of course, Obama would never do anything like that. What the heck? Obama, innocent. Obama did nothing. Obama did nothing wrong. Er wird doch nicht zu Mord aufrufen, der befiehlt den. Aber der ruft doch nicht dazu auf. Der ist der Oberbefehlshaber. Der Obama hat weltweit 3000 Menschen mit seinem... Yeah, see? It's different. Obama didn't like call people and tell people to, 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 to do those things. He ordered drones to do it. So it's not even like actual people did it, you know? ...ein Drohnenprogramm über den Haufen schießen lassen. Er hat sie vorher zu Terroristen erklärt. Ist klar. Alles korrekt, also... Oh, you know, it's crazy too. You can easily dehumanize uh, an individual by calling them something associated with terror. <laughs> okay. Um, then it justifies any heinous thing that's done to them, you know? Even if that person doesn't fall under the category of terror, if you get what I'm getting at. It's the dark reality of waging war. Okay. <laughs> and um, I'm pretty sure a lot of us are aware of that. But here we are. Americans have the list. We do. It's an official list. There's the name of people drauf von Obama abgesichert. The world wird über den Haufen geschossen. Isn't that messed up, bro? That's messed up, bro. We got a list of people that need to, that, that allegedly need to get clapped. And then we try to enforce it by pushing other countries to follow the list we got. That's tough. Ohne Anklage, ohne Rechtfertigungsmöglichkeit, nicht mal kurzer Prozess. Und wenn sie dumm daneben stehen, dann sind sie ein Kollateralschaden. Dang, bro. And not only that, not only are you collateral damage, they try to cover it up. That's what one of the leaks was. One of the leaks was covering up the actual amount of people that were clapped in the war. When America released the numbers, they were slightly lower than what they actually were. The casualties that were there involved in, in, the, in the war. You know what I mean? Like when they released the numbers, those were a lot lower than what actually happened. So when the document got leaked of all the actual casualties, casualties that happened people were not too pleased they're like what the heck and when they actually found out the reason why we were out there <coughs> just saying uh well people weren't too happy about that either interesting there's a lot of interesting things that go on in this world and it's it, it's crazy it's almost like my third eye is being like 
shown so many different things, man. It's wild. And I'm pretty sure it happens to a lot of us when we get involved in stuff like this. I mean, like just absorbing knowledge on this level. In this in this kind of form, I feel like this is a fun way to learn about history and stuff like that. Cabaret, man, German Cabaret, all right with me, man. And he's quite literally taking facts and putting them into a stand-up and then spewing them in your face. I feel like that's pretty legit, honestly. Black Wifey Y says, well, was it war criminal doesn't face any charges? The one published it and now tortured and is still facing secret secret court in the US with 170 years in prison. Well balanced. It's messed up. Yeah. So the thing is, those documents got released, but at what cost? The person who re released those documents on the actual numbers of the United States and all the craziness that we got involved in is quite literally getting completely obliterated right now by our secret court system exclusively for this person. He has to serve 170 years in prison. And I bet you that man gonna turn up tote. You know what I'm saying? Come on, man. You know how US gets down, bro. Jetzt stellen Sie mal vor, der Assad in Syrien würde so eine Liste aufstellen und anfangen, weltweit Menschen umzubringen, die ihm gefährlich werden könnten. Da wäre die Weltöffentlichkeit außer sich. Mm -hmm. Das darf der überhaupt nicht. Der hat doch gar keinen Friedensnobel. Oh my God. If the leader in Syria made a list, the same list that America made, ever the world would be like, he doesn't have a right to do that. He hasn't won the Nobel Peace Prize. Tough, bro. Tough. Absolutely fire performance and very, very well uh, spoken points, man. America definitely fucked up, dude. And it's crazy when you think about it. But not just America. You have other countries and stuff that are kind of turning up a little bit, you know? And it's kind of wild. So I figured this was this was a kind of a fucked situation. You guys let me know what you think about this in the comments down below. Like, comment, subscribe. You guys already know the vibes and all that good stuff. I will see you soon. Take care. Love you guys. Ciao. Ciao.